Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this very short video, I will try to explain various types of switches that are used in circuit analysis. Okay, now here is an example. The key point to remember here is to see the direction of this arrow. If you look carefully, this is going out or this is trying to open this switch and the timing written here is that at t is equal to 0 it opens so that means before t is equal to 0 so before t is equal to 0 this switch is closed and after t is equal to 0 the switch is open so the direction is important and in the real life example you can see the closed means just like a barrier it is closed and this barrier is open so when this is open no current can flow through the circuit now look at this one now the direction uh, this was going up so it was opening this is going down that means this barrier will come down so this will close that means at before t is equal to 0 this is open so we can write it like this that before t is equal to 0 this is open and after t is equal to 0 this will close so after t is equal to 0 we will show it like this closed ok here is another one again look at the direction of the arrow this arrow is pushing this bar for closing but at what time? at t is equal to 0 that means before t is equal to 0 this is open so before t is equal to 0 or t less than 0 this is open and after t is equal to 0 or t greater than or equal to 0 this is closed because this is closing at t is equal to 0 here is another one just opposite of that now this opening at t is equal to 0 that means before t is equal to 0 this is closed and after t is equal to 0 this will be open here is another type it is moving from position a to b at t is equal to 0 that means before t is equal to 0 this is at position a and then after t is equal to 0 it is moving to position b again you have to see the direction of this arrow it is moving from a to b but after t greater than 0 and this is opposite of that now this is moving from position b to a after or at t is equal to 0 that means before t is equal to 0 this is at position B uh, and after T greater than 0 this has moved to position A and finally there is a slightly trickier one there are two switches look at the direction of this one this is closing at T is equal to 0 but this one is closing at T is equal to 4 so now first of all we will see what will happen before t is equal to 0 so before t is equal to 0 this is also open and this is also open so both are open then at t equal to 0 or greater than 0 this one is closing so this is closing but the s2 is still remain open because it will close at t is equal to 4 so we take another time now where t is greater than 4 this was already closed but this will also close so i hope this gives you uh, an idea about various types of switches that are used in the circuit analysis thank you